Our next delegate is Darlene Wesley. Good afternoon, city councillors, city staff, and fellow citizens. My name is Darlene Wesley. I'm an ACORN member at the East End Hamilton chapter and a tenant in Ward 4. I was. I am delegating today to call on the city of Hamilton to take a bold action in this rent eviction crisis. I lived at 309 Strathern Avenue for 18 years. You have to bear with me, I have COPD and it's, it gets exacerbated at times. Take your time, you've got friends here. The building is right next to Barton Street, close to grocery stores, transit, and uh, my fellow tenants uh, would walk to their work. In 2020, our landlord gave us M13s to move out for renovations, so-called renovation, but renovation has nothing to do with renovations. It's about displacing tenants who have lived in affordable housing for a long time. Between the four tenants there, we have 75 years, 27, 18, and two tens. Um, okay, so we received uh, funding to get a, from the Tenant Defense Fund for our paralegal. We waited from November 2020 to April of 22, almost two, over two years, or almost two, over two years, um, to get a hearing. At that hearing, I um, hired, uh, we hired a um, home inspector to come and um, inspect our units to see what needed to be done. I also had an electrician, um, come and look at uh, what electrical need to be done because the landlord stated that he wanted to repair outdated electrical and plumbing issues and um, he was going to tear down the walls, all outer walls in the units and replace them and even replace firewalls. Can't replace firewalls in a building; it, it would fall down. There's a, it's right in the middle of the building. It's a big cement wall, it's a firewall. So, anyways, we had these people come and speak for us, and the um, the adjudicator listened to everything. It took less than two hours for four people to give their side of of our story. Um, Okay, uh, the, okay. Um, he kept saying that he needed the vacant possession. Okay, um, tenants started moving out in 22, July, and I didn't, I got to stay till January 31st of this year. And, sorry. And um, before I even left, in, uh, December 26th, the two people who lived upstairs got to, uh, were sent emails that they could return to their apartment. This was, like I said, the 26th. Within two days, he had reneged and said they were, he said they could have their apartments at a higher rent, plus they had to bring their own appliances. When you have the right of first refusal, everything's supposed to be the same when you come back. Nothing changes. So they, they, they said, they gave them a hard time about appliances because it's expensive to buy new appliances. So within two days, he reneged on the right of first refusal, said, I'm done. My accountant says I can't give you back your apartments. I'll deal with the LTB. So that's what he did. So if you need a vacant possession, uh, and on J January 31st, the two apartments up there were done. So he didn't need vacant possession. At this time, I tried to do something so I wouldn't have to leave. But I couldn't do anything. You only have a 30 day to appeal at the LTB. And I, I, we were already, what, seven months in. 
I had no recourse at that time. I had to go, but I tried. So the only work that, um, oh, backing, tracking, sorry. The only work that the electrician and the home inspector agreed on was that the only thing that needed to be done electrically was GC, GFCIs in the kitchen and bathroom in all units. That's the only thing besides the, the rerouting the fire thing, um, fire units into each building, which would take, sorry, which would take um, Two, two hours, he said. So anyways, moving forward. Um, the landlord revoked the right of first refusal. And okay, we had to go to the tenant defense fund again to file for bad faith evictions. We're still, um, we went, the one tenant went on April 5th to get his, um, he had his hearing. We still don't know the outcome of that yet. Um, I drove by my apartment last week. There's curtains and toiletries in the apartment. I haven't even been gone three months. Already my, my apartment is gone. So now I have nowhere to go. I'm stuck. I'm couch surfing now. I, I'm on old age pension. I only get $1,700 a month. Rents are $1,800 plus. And I just want to mention the new provincial changes aren't going to make any difference. It's... It will be easy for the landlords to have their own contractors say what they need and not do anything. My landlord said he needed all those things to be done and he didn't do nothing but cosmetic work and change the electrical panels. That's it. Like many other tenants in Hamilton facing losing our homes, we are asking the city to, to have our backs and do everything to protect our low income and vulnerable residents. Like I said, rent evictions have nothing to do with repairs. It's about displacing affordable tenants from their homes. Thank you.